Hi, I'm Nigel Gardner and welcome to my channel. I'm here to talk about all things guitar related, but specifically today I'm looking at reading the dots. So let's get into it. Okay, we'll start with the stave. We've got a treble clef and the lines are E, G, B, D, F. You might remember this with every good boy deserves food. The spaces, however, spell a word. F, A, C, E, face. A lot of people know this already, but there's an extra thing which I feel like people don't get told often enough. And that is that the word face appears in the ledger lines as well. So the bottom line is E. If we go below that, we get C, then A, then F. So we get F, A, C, E on the lines. In the treble clef, the word face is on the spaces. Underneath, it's on the lines. The same is true for above, though I am focusing on the stave and the ledger lines below it for this video. So face appears in three places, and I really wish someone had told me that when I was 12, because it would have made school a lot easier. All right, next up, here's where we find the strings on the stave. So we have three strings, E, A, and D, below the stave on those ledger lines. Then we have G, B, E on the stave. Three below, three on. I hope that helps. All right, so check this out. We have three strings, G, B, E. On the second fret of the G string, we have an A. So that's G, A. Now, on the next string B, we have B, C, D on open one and three. And the same again on the E string, we have E, F, G. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now that doesn't really sound very musical because it's not quite a major scale. We have to do one thing to change it to make it a major scale, and that's to put an F sharp in instead of an F. So here's the G major scale below with the one accidental note. That means it's not in the key signature, it's right there next to the note. It's on that F sharp. So that hashtag symbol below is telling us that F is an F sharp. But if we put it in the key signature, we don't need to write it next to the note. When it's next to the note, it's called an accidental. Let's put it in the key signature and everyone knows that every time we see F, it's F sharp. Okay, it's time to look at the C major scale. Now C is on the third fret of the A string. Then you have zero, two, three, that's D, E, F. Then you have G, A, which you already know. Then you have B, C. So it's just knowing that C is on the A string on the third fret, and then you should be fine. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. No sharps and flats, easy. Okay, F major scale. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. So there's just that one flat to worry about. Now that means we're playing B flat and not a B string. So F is on its own. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. So I'm usually teaching from a grade syllabus and in grade one, you would usually learn a scale which has no sharps and flats, C major. Then you'd have G major, which has one sharp, an F major, which has one flat. Today I'm using two pieces of music which you can find on my Patreon page and the link to them is in the description. Download them for free, give them a try. After this video, I really hope you're gonna feel good about reading them. Now let's take the first line of this melody. We're just using three strings and there's no sharps or flats. Let's take a quick look at the second piece of music that I've made for this video. I made this one with the purpose of using open strings, E, A, and D. The idea is that you can not only read a basic melody, but you can add in the bass notes as well, and slowly over time they should become less scary. So let's take the first line. So this is just using the A minor scale. And all I'm doing is using the notes A, D, and E in the bass. So you're playing and reading two notes at the same time. All right, short but sweet. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe as I'd like to keep making more videos like this. So thanks guys. I'll see you again for another video. Cheers.